Needing positivity all around you. Many life struggles trying to hold you down. When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds that try to tear you down. Why they want to tear me down? Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, what's popping, fire signs? Did y'all miss me? <laughs> fire signs. Are y'all unapologetically being fabulous as fuck on a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Hey boo hey, hey boo hey, if this is first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time viewing my channel, look out, I cuss like a motherfucker, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm a cuss, okay? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, you guys, the emails, the DMs, the love. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it from the most humblest space ever, okay? Also, you guys, if you haven't followed my IG already, please go do so. It's at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. Okay? It's weekly motherfucking tea over there. I got to post it for this week, but it's over there. Okay? Also, you guys, um, for those of you who are new to my family, listen, we a little dysfunctional over here. Okay? We don't fight. We don't fuss. We don't do none of that shit. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Okay? But we do cuss. All right. If you need a personal reading, that uh, information will be found within the description box below. This is a general reading. It is not going to resonate for everybody. Okay. Shout out to y'all mean ass people. Y'all rude ass, insensitive ass fire signs. Okay. Not everybody, but if this is your part, okay, march to the tune of this motherfucking drum on the inside. Cause I'm trying to touch the inside parts. Who seen beloved? That's my shit. Weird, but that's my shit. On the inside parts. That entitled ass energy. For some free, loving, compassionate, from the bottom of my heart ass energy when I'm going through something was rude as fuck. So for those of you who asked me why I had not done fire sign readings on YouTube, let me first tell you accountability is a motherfucker. And if you ain't going to take none, I will gladly assist you. Okay? Y'all, that was rude. Shout out to y'all who did that shit. For two years, I was not biting back in the comment section. But for those of you who did it, you got a little mwah from me. And for those of you who didn't, okay, don't do that shit, man. That's not cool. Who raised you? It's not okay. All right? So my rent is over. That said, we're going to jump right on in. Tap, tap, tap in. <laughs> tap, tap, tap in. Leo's, I did not forget your birthday. Y'all y'all season beat my ass beat my ass. I was receiving a lot of downloads I really had to pour into me because y'all season was intense as fuck, but happy belated birthday, Leos, with y'all fine ass. Okay? Happy belated birthday with your fine ass. And even if you mad at me, baby, I'm going to give you a rose and tell you I'm sorry and blow you a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Give big mommy a kissy kissy. Do not be sitting up here mad at me. Period. Okay? That said, we're going to tap, tap, tap in. Fire signs. What I felt from your energy. You guys, I, actually, I felt amazing. Um, for most of you, there's this energy of restriction. I feel like whatever energy that what, whatever energy that you felt like was restricting you in the past, that energy is being removed. It's being cleared. A lot of the things that you've been trying to manifest, it's harvest season, baby. They're coming into fruition, okay? I definitely picked up a few energies. One was very interesting, and I'm going to go ahead and say that first. I picked up a channel. There's a fire sign female. This feels like a female who wants to start some type of um, avocation or some type of like YouTube channel. This could even be a vlog uh, when it comes to taking care of the female body, okay? Uh, this could be medicinal uses. This could be um, uh, some, some type of holistic uses, but I did pick up on hygiene, okay? Somebody wants to tell individuals how to take care of that WAP, all right? That wet ass pistachio, <laughs> period okay um i also picked up on the energy some of you guys could be jury makers okay some of you guys could also be in this space of wanting to open up some type of online boutique i did pick up on the energy uh, on the energy of the fashion industry um i'm also picking up on the energy fire signs of some type of like shoes this could even be anklets i'm picking up on the onk okay so that could be significant to somebody when it comes to uh doing some type of research on ancient symbology i'm also picking up on someone wanting to expose the government 
or some type of government propaganda but they're afraid to someone's also afraid of being judged from their family judged by their family due to their spiritual beliefs i feel like it's been a lot of back and forth a lot of resistance but some of you all are taking the damn leap of faith and just jumping off the damn cliff in the month of september okay i did feel the energy also of some of you guys are getting a major a very powerful realization when it comes to your spiritual gifts there was a lot of spiritual inheritance energy that i feel some of you guys could also be in this some y'all are mediums and you're over being afraid of your gift or judging yourself for that gift there's a lot of paranormal activities a lot of ancestral activities fire signs your ancestors are on your damn hip like a clip do you understand you guys are heavily protected during this time i also picked up on the energy of um stalking in the masses someone is getting stalked by the masses to the point where it causes a pair of like psychosis or a pair of a, a, a pair where it causes a feeling of like feeling as if someone's being constantly attacked psychically attacked i did feel the masses someone could also some y'all need to change your passwords as well because i did pick up the energy of someone trying to hack into your accounts someone is really mad because your fucking business is thriving you took a chance on yourself and someone is really angry with you okay some of you guys be very careful about allowing other people to project their energy on you because I did feel this energy of you guys could be this could be you living with family this could also be um, you living with like a friend some of y'all are making people very uncomfortable through your confidence I feel like that's not your fucking problem okay but I do feel that it's making you uncomfortable because you're heavily empathic okay so for some of you all you're really needing to protect your energy I am also hearing somebody needs to put a lock on their door okay somebody kids somebody could find their kids stealing out their purse or uh, someone could be trying to blame your kids for stealing um I feel like whoever is responsible for some type of theft from your home, you could have even let someone come live with you. Whoever, whoever, whoever is responsible for some type of theft out of your home, I am picking up on the energy of someone who could have water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm hearing strong Scorpio. I'm also hearing Aquarius or Gemini. Okay. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the collective reading for the fire signs. What crystals will be useful for my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of September, Spirit? Thank you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what crystals might they find useful for the month of September? Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. <clears throat> Honey, it's funny because I literally felt to pull that crystal out of my damn purse before the reading. Okay. Um, that's my that's my shiny crystal. That's what I be doing when I be going to go play B-I-N-G-L. Bingo on a bitch. Okay. Listen. You guys got citrine. Number 18. I definitely feel like for some of you all, there is some type of ending or some type of shift, positive shift coming to you when it relates to your finances. Okay. For some of you all, some type of leap of faith that you could have taken between the month of May and July. You are seeing that payoff during this time. I'm also picking up on some type of closing out of legalities, okay? So some of you guys could actually have some type of legal or some type of court case getting ready to close out. I am hearing um, dismissed, okay? Some of you all, this could also relate to tra traffic tickets is what I'm picking up on. Honey, why am I? Listen, let me put this down for a second because I'm struggling trying to find this damn page. Y'all know I'm not going to remix these damn oracle messages. These just like the angel message. Abundance, honey. Citrine. A stone of joy and abundance. Citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. For a self-understanding, you spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Remember that you are an abundant being who manifests what you need. You are an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Joyful play, hold on. Joyful play creates a wonderful, a wonderful world. Be grateful for who you are. You are blessed. Accept constructive criticism, become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally. For divination use, take time out for joyful play. Self-regard heals a damaged child. Abundance is all around you. You attract success and prosperity. Stop worrying and be optimistic and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise within, the, I'm sorry, the wise child within. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through, pra through praise. A healing inside of this stone, true abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. The frequency of this stone is high. It cleanses and activates and re-energizes re all the chakras. 
Um, it's good for Aries, Gemini, Leo, and Libra. The soul path is for embodying abundance, okay? So for some of you all also, I'm also hearing gratitude, all right? Be grateful for where you are because you could definitely be in a worse place. I also feel like for some of you all, this is also a time of you actually acknowledging the accomplishments that you've created around your own world as well. Like some of you all, thank you spirit, some of you all are so focused on the negative and what you don't have that you're really not really allowing yourself to live in the moment and be thankful for what you do have, okay? You're seeing the glass being half empty, not half full, all right? <clears throat> Fire signs, you guys got growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness, okay? So for some of you all, I am picking up on a lot of root chakra as well as solar plexus chakra. For some of you all, this also has to do with movement. It's like you have an interest in something, but it's not. Some of you all are just now starting to do the work when it comes to growing in a particular subject. I'm picking up on herbal divination, okay? So some of you all could be using some type of herbal divination. This could also be some type of uh, studying herbs for some type of medicinal use, okay? Fire signs. I'm going to take them. Some of you all, there's a reconciliation that is blocking your damn focus. I feel like the focus, you've been putting all of your focus on a reconciliation, all of your energy. Someone could be externally sucking your energy, okay? For others of you, you're in a relationship where you feel as if you're carrying all of the weight and spirit is showing you all the damn signs that it's time to move, but you're procrastinating. And some of you all are choosing to sweep your damn feelings under a rug versus acknowledging them. Um... Via ultimately not really healing. I feel like some of you all are procrastinating making a decision when it comes to your fulfillment. You being fulfilled. Making a choice for thyself. Okay? Because I strongly feel like for some of you all, you're recognizing a pattern of self-sacrificing. For, uh, for some of you all, it is the validation of other people. But for some of you all, this has to do with... You're not putting in enough time for yourself. You have goals. You have ambitions. But you also have a damn excuse for every damn reason why your ass can't get started today. And Spirit is saying, let's, 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 let's get started today because... Things are coming forth that I definitely see in the month of September. Some of you all, you're juggling on uh, how to move forward when it comes to making some type of decision around work and your finances. If you want to invest in a particular stock is what I'm hearing, okay? Some of you all, this could also have to do with you being honest with your damn self about what it is that you're not receiving and what it is that makes you unhappy in your current relationship for some of you all. And this could also be in your current position at work. Some of you all are battling should you leave a particular position or should you leave a job. Some of you all want to grow or some of you all are making a decision not to allow your finances to sit but to invest them good shit, okay? Some of y'all, there's a there's a fire sign that's coming into your world. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like this person wants to, somebody's trying to procrastinate a judgment being made. I feel like someone knows that they damn, they're on the edge of their damn seat as it pertains to their karma. And I feel like someone is trying to alter um, your decision here, okay? I'm also feeling a lot of projected energy as far as your plans and the things in which you wish to manifest. Someone wants to project what they want you to fucking do on you. This could be a water sign or an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo could also be another Aries or an Aquarius, okay? So that's what I have collectively for you all. Well, you know what? Collectively, give me some advice. Give me some advice, spirit. Give me some advice that y'all go over here. Give me some advice for my fire sign. Ooh. Oh, okay. Advice. For my fire sign collective. Advice. For my fire sign collective. Okay. Completion. I feel like the cycle here is not over. I also feel like for some of you all, being passive and isolating yourself, some of you guys could be going in hermit mode to contemplate what it is that you want to do or how it is that you want to go about ending some type of cycle. I feel like some of you guys are also reconciling with someone for closure during this time or someone could be wanting to reconcile with you for closure. But I definitely feel the completion of a cycle and for some of you all, you're isolating yourself from your friends, your family members. you in hermit mode, really contemplating the next step, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you are going to get that clarity. You are going to get those confirmations that you need in order to know how to move first, because how to move next because this feels like um, navigation or direction towards a path, okay? So let's get it. Aries. Ram gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say up uh, ram uh, uh, gang. We in this in this thing I say hey, what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries? We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries. Gang, gang, gang. Turn up, 
for Aries. Crank that, pop that, shake that, turn up for Aries. What's popping, gang, gang? Gang, 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 gang shit only though. Hmm, <laughs> Aries. <laughs> Aries, you know them haters be watching. They trying to stop your shining. They trying to, yes, Aries. I, put, I picked up a lot of energy of the haters for the month of September, okay? Um, I also picked up on this energy, Aries, of you guys are making a lot of silent money moves all right i did pick up on the energy of invest uh, of investing i also picked up on the energy for aries um of speaking some of you guys could be public speakers some of you guys could be also signing some type of contract to represent some type of comedy or co a company or some be some type of brand ambassador okay some of you all i strongly picked up modeling or acting okay a lot of a lot of um public recognition for you all I'm also picking up on good deeds that you've done in the past. You're being rewarded for good deeds from the past, Aries. Aries, y'all got some fucking haters, okay? Some of y'all have a Libra, that's a fucking hater. Some of y'all have a Virgo, that's a fucking hater. Some of y'all got a Pisces mad as fuck because you don't want to be their friend and let them be in their life and love on them no more because they're a fucking hater. Um, some of y'all, this is a Scorpio, that's a fucking hater, all right? Some of y'all, it's a Leo. That's a fucking hater. Some of y'all don't even know how to even deal with these people. This could be reconciliations, okay? I definitely feel like some of you are reconciling with individuals to realize how much you've grown. People are reminding you of your growth, okay? I definitely also picked up on this energy, uh, Aries, for some of you all of some type of, uh, you being blessed with some type of spiritual inheritance, okay? Some of you guys, this is a gift of clear audience. Some of you guys, this could also be the gift of clairvoyance, all right? For others of you, this could also be some type of, uh, some of y'all are dream interpreters. Others of you are wanting to start some type of major platform or vlog during this time this could have to do with fashion or makeup okay um, I also picked up on energy of only fans a lot of sexual energy okay some of you all are studying up on uh, different deities especially that's uh, having to do with some type of African heritage okay Orishas is what I'm hearing some of you guys could also be making a major decision when it comes to moving states all right I definitely feel the energy of Aries moving from like a city space to like a country or like a rural or a laid back space Some of you guys, there's a, there's a lot of energy on entrepreneurship. Aries, a lot of you guys, some of y'all are really, really, really having your damn guard up towards people during this time. I feel like you're not for the little dry ass shade, the little slick ass comments. Oh, I was just playing. No, bitch, you wasn't playing. But I, I'm going to show you how I'm coming, okay? I definitely felt that energy as well, Aries. Some of you all, there is a lot of attachments to family. Some of y'all needing to make a damn decision when it comes to how to end a cycle or how, how to go about ending a cycle or how to... This has to do with how to go about ending a cycle when it regards as it regards to family, okay? Also, I do feel like a lot of Aries women making a major decision when it comes to reconciling with a child's father or having some type of reunion with a child's father. Um, how to go about that. Some of you guys could be experiencing Aries, be very careful. This is not a time to go out here and go do uh, your, your your normal sporadic shit, okay? Tricks on your fucking motorcycle and shit. Because I do pick up on someone being like injured while doing something very spontaneous okay i'm also picking up on the energy of like apple uh, apple okay i think uh, some of you all could be uh, going into this space of like working with plants or botany or manifesting with plants a lot of herbal divination aries some of you guys could also be um if you have a business some of you guys could be there could be talks of expansion or expansion in the products in which you offer in your business okay there's this energy of people the people are waiting aries the people are waiting on you some of you guys could be in the public eye some of you all are readers i do feel that some of y'all need to um some of you guys could be in the space of copywriting and getting LLCs protecting your content or there's a need to because <sighs> solid moves solid moves some of you guys got somebody plotting on you in the background and you already know you just waiting on them to bust they move but for some of you all you're playing master magician because you know that this person can't bust the move without you making or giving them some type of reaction some of you all someone's trying to incriminate you but i'm hearing they're fucking going down okay so let's get it aries spirit give me a soul journeys message for my aries for the month of september sun moon rising venus north node and mercury for aries aries and my cross watches 
with y'all nosy ass. I love y'all too. Y'all stalking though. It's cool. <laughs> Aries, a soul journey's message for the month of September for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, and Mercury. Aries, 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 okay? You guys got success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love at the bottom of the deck. I got failure. Understand that a mistake is I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. For some of you all off the rip, I'm hearing that you're beating yourself up for making the wrong decision. Okay, some of you guys could have made the wrong decision when it comes to where to invest your money. I'm also hearing some type of collaboration. Some of y'all could have collaborated with someone and you're not even fucking with that bitch no more, okay? Um Some of you guys also this could also have to do with some type of paperwork. Someone, be very careful with signing paperwork, Aries, because someone is really underestimating your wit and your intelligence, okay? I tell people all the time, listen, I'm, philosoph I'm philosophically ratchet. Don't fuck with me, all right? You guys um, also got success. Again, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. For some of you all, this is also a focus of or a message to stop living in the past of what didn't go right. Step, be in the now for some of you all you're so afraid to make a damn mistake that you're you've gotten out of this space or gotten away from this space of truly being in the moment living in the moment experiencing okay some of you guys are perfectionists and it's causing a sense of procrastination and spirit is saying get off your ass and on your feet Aries okay so let's get into okay I'm gonna use the model witch tarot for you all also I am feeling, again, any type of restrictions that were there before they are being removed, Aries. I'm also hearing someone wants to, um, there will be some type of fair and just outcome on some type of custody battle. There will be um, a, a sense of shared custody, shared custody. Someone was trying to use the kids um, behind their own malicious intent because you don't want their ass, okay? Spirit, show me what messages do you have for my Aries. Someone rising Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, and Mercury for the month of September. What messages do you have for my Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. King of Pentacles, okay? Some of you all Aries, you could be dealing with a Earth sign. This could also be a boss. Someone is being... Some of y'all are dealing with a very narcissistic energy. Like, this person needs to be needed or needs to have some type of control. This could also be someone trying to steal your ideas. Well, Spirit wants you to know that this will not prosper, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you guys could be ending a situation with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Possibly behind some type of interference from their past, okay? For some of you all, this could or your past, Aries. Y'all take it how it go, honey, okay? Um... Some of y'all are needing to set boundaries when it comes to business. I definitely feel like this is also putting your foot down when it comes to setting boundaries around how you make your money. For some of y'all, this could definitely have to do with like friends and families wanting free shit and shit. You guys are speaking up for yourself. Listen, you're not finna take me for damn granted or use me, baby. You can get the fuck with that. Some of you guys are cutting off a Scorpio. That's a hoe. Others of you are using very strong discernment when it comes to what it is that you invest in. I definitely feel like Aries for the month of September is focused on that damn money. I got money on my mind and my mind, my mind on my money and my money on my mind, Aries, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys could also be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone doesn't want you to have the options that you have. And some of y'all is dealing with someone who wish it was them. Or someone, this could even be a mother figure. Could also be a father figure, but this feels strongly matriarchal. Someone could feel as if someone feels shame by what it is that you're doing, Aries. Some of you guys also have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that wants to reconcile, but you are one of many of this person's options. This person really doesn't want, they don't know how to love you, Aries. This person doesn't know how to properly invest in you, but they don't want to see you with anybody else. Okay? Some of you guys also have new love here. But I feel like there's a need for you all to take things slow. Don't No need to control, but to find the flow. Some of you guys have a Pisces that's being enlightened. Of you reconciling with a fire sign. Aries, Bill, Sagittarius, strong Aries. Others of you have an Aries that wants to reconcile with you. They see you as their soulmate. But I feel like this person is not willing to change their ways or not willing to grow. This is not somebody who you see that you can build with, okay? I'm also seeing here, Aries, some of you guys could also... Somebody could have tried to play you when it comes to a contract or some type of collaboration. I strongly see that too. 
others of you you're indecisive about how to handle or deal with a friend after some type of reconciliation some of y'all picked up on the, picking up on the energy that this person is jealous okay somebody wants to be a part of your success but they wasn't with you shooting in the damn gym all right some of you guys have a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of y'all, this could also be some type of paternity issues as well here. I feel like someone could have could be getting enlightened on the DNA of a child that they have never like poured into or did anything for. Some of you all are kind of battling yourself when it comes to letting this person see their child because your children don't know them. Others of you, there's a Capricorn... Aries, Cancer, or a Libra who wants to communicate with you. I feel like this person could have been in the space of no contact with you. This person could be going through some things around death with their family. I'm strongly hearing a mother here. Others of you, there's a fire sign that wants to come in and shake shit up while you happy and minding your own damn business because this person is just low vibrational as fuck. And this person could have thought that they had some type of hold or control on you. Others of you, there could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, trying to tell you what the fuck to do with your money. Somebody, some of y'all could also be finding out that someone is hiding money or could have tried to cut you out of some type of money or assets, okay? Give me some advice for Aries. Advice for Aries. Some advice here. Advice. I just hang in. Advice. Yeah. Some of you all are not choosing, you're choosing not to invest in a situation, a person, place, a thing. I feel like this person is coming forward to communicate with you, but things are not going to move forward because some of you all are going to recognize that someone is just not ready for a relationship. Someone wants to be a hoe, and they proud that they hold them. Hoe is life to this person, okay? Hoe is life for me too. Happy over every, happiness over everything, all right? But I definitely feel like some of you all have, a, you're on the brink of new beginnings. So there could also be some type of, um opportunity that is presented to you through a friend through your association with another person this feels like right place right time aries some of y'all could also be getting communication that someone could have had a daughter while you guys were in a relationship some of y'all have an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo that's coming in to be a disturbance this person is not happy that you're thriving okay i feel like they wear a hell of a poker face but they're saying trust your intuition and trust what you feel especially around this individual because some of y'all is going to catch somebody side eyeing you or you could feel this all right i feel like when it comes to a fire sign some of you guys things are on standstill currently but i feel like this person is coming in to communicate but only for you to move away and get a sense of closure because some of you guys are closing out a cycle okay some of you guys could be dealing with the gym. Now, somebody could also be coming out about their sexuality during this time, Aries. I feel like this is divine intervention for, to assist you in leaving the situation that Spirit has been saying that you're dragging your ass on leaving any damn way, okay? Other than you, this could also have to do with some type of sexual harassment case at work. Some of you guys are open up are choosing to open up some type of sexual harassment case. I also feel like somebody could have played you around work and paperwork. Please be careful about what you sign, Aries, okay, in the month of September. Give me some closing advice for Aries, Spirit. Give me some closing advice for Aries. You guys got participation and you guys got harmony. I feel like this has to do with opening up and opening up and being willing to vulnerably be vulnerable and express yourself. Even if this has to do with some type of vlog or platform, I feel like some of you guys are digging deep and truly healing and it's allowing you to open up and be more optimistic when it comes to working with other people and being open to new relationships. Some of you guys are putting yourself out there again. You're getting out of your own way with your damn mean ass. You're trusting, okay? But the Spirit is saying use that discernment on that trust, okay? So I love you long time, Aries. This is what I have for you. Mwah. I pray that it resonates and if you need a reading, that information is in the description box below. What's up, lines? What's popping? Did you miss me? <laughs> Leo, 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 off the rip, what I feel with you all is happiness. Some of you guys are in this very euphoric space. Some of you guys could have gone hermit mode on everybody. I am picking up on a lot of do not disturb energy, okay? Leo, I am hearing steal your shine, steal your shine. Maybe you feel like someone is trying to steal your, si steal your shine. I'm also picking up on somebody actually trying to steal your shine. I'm also picking up on someone trying to silence you, Leo. Some of you guys could be exposing people and the fuck shit that they do during this time. Or there's a sense of someone threatening to expose someone. 
some of you all also there is a sense of procrastination around some type of start to a business i am hearing authentic self actually like presenting so presenting or sharing with the world your authentic self i also picked up on silent competition someone's intimidated by how fast you grow or how fast you've grown okay i'm also picking up on this energy also of a lot of psychic a lot of psychic attacks leo some of you guys could definitely have someone trying to do or could have in the past tried to do some type of uh, mirror magic is what i'm hearing or some type of energy harvesting um spell work on you someone was trying to drain you dry is what i'm hearing some of you guys could also be dealing with a very malicious person. I'm also picking up on, um, well, with the malicious individual, I feel like this is the energy of someone who was once a friend. I'm hearing, she was a friend of mine. She slept with my man. She lied and cheated and took all I had. Watch your man around your friends, Leo, okay? Because I do feel some type of gossip or some type of rumors. Some of you guys could be getting into it with somebody and they're like, oh, well, that's why your man was trying to do this, this, or that's why your bitch was trying to, yeah, da, 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 da. Silence the noise. Some of you guys are shutting, up the, shutting out the noise, okay? We so high up here, bitch. I can't even hear you down there. The fuck? All right? You vibing high, all right? Some of you guys, I also picked up on this energy of someone wanting to, someone afraid of being vulnerable with an individual, someone feeling regretful for how they treated another individual, like someone sees your light, is what I'm hearing. This could have also been a family member who could have tried to doubt uh, your movement forward or doubt your business plans or doubt your spiritual beliefs, but things are actually like conspiring in their life or things that you said are actually being confirmed. I'm also picking up on this energy of some of you guys being attached to some type of um, someone who has a lot of heavy karma when it comes to being a player. A lot of avoidance or passive aggressive energy. Some of you guys are dealing with someone where there's a lot of gaslighting energy. I also heard physical abuse. Leo, listen, if you are being physically abused, I do feel that help is available. Like you need to get help. Some of you all there could also be talks about expansion in your business. Okay, I'm also picking up on, I'm picking up on a lot of expansive energy. Leo, some of you guys could be selling. I'm picking up on someone wanting to make herbal baths, someone wanting to be a holistic healer, a lot of shamanic, a lot of shamanic energy as well. Some of you all are traveling in your dream space. Your dream space is very uh very important and very very confirmation field in the month of September. Some of you guys are literally dreaming in real time when it comes to how to navigate forward all right some of you guys are really needing to believe in yourself some of y'all have been letting other people project their belief system or project their what they feel that you should be doing onto you and i feel like it's really taking you out of your energetic flow in the month of september i feel like some of you guys could be releasing yourself releasing uh, releasing yourself from relationships contracts i am hearing soul ties during this time some of y'all are cutting off some type of sexual relationship with the individual because you're noticing how much it's draining your energy some of y'all have a lot of parasitic energy around you i'm also picking up on the interference of family as well this could be a mother-in-law a brother a mother but i do feel like there's a lot of interference type energy some of y'all could also find out that someone was talking shit behind your back and it's the same person that was patting your back telling you it was going to be okay. Somebody playing both sides, Leo. All right. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Leos for the month of September? What messages do you have for my Leos? Summer Rising Venus Cross Watchers, which y'all stalking, watching, stalking, and not talking asses. Fire signs. I definitely, Leos, y'all are intimidating people during this time. Somebody wants to say some courage, okay? I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Some of you guys want to start something new. You're being intuitively guided to invest in something, start something, actually manifest something new. This could also be some type of candle magic. I feel like when I say magic, it's very uh, triggering to, some, so, to someone during this time. I feel like this could have to do with someone constantly dealing with fighting off black magic but it's because you have a purpose to teach others how to do this as well so it's, it's like you have to first master the self before you can assist others you're a healer whoever that's for okay at the bottom of the deck we got honesty 
I can always I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself some of you all are needing to let a situation go but I feel like there's fear around your stability or practicality should you take a take a leap of faith into the into the space of the unknown okay I'm also picking up on a lot of crown chakra activity Leo's a lot of you all are psychic as fuck during this time you're getting a lot of downloads a lot of ancestral a lot of ancestral messages I am picking up on the energy of someone's grandfather this person could be um, either have some type of Creole descent or some type of um, Native American descent I am picking up on this person like knocking shit over in your home or moving things possibly even closing doors some of you all are really needing to listen to your children because your children are confirming things for you all right, some of you guys, my condolences for those of you who are dealing with death, because I did pick up on someone could have recently crossed over on the other side. Some of you all are finally um, in the space of healing and opening up to someone. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone um, giving someone an ultimatum about, about therapy, okay? Either go to therapy. This could have to do with someone cheating or someone's addiction to porn or sex, okay? Somebody find not Tyrone out there paying them little motherfucking pots, paying them little, paying them little thoughts for that wet ass pistachio, honey. Okay. Three. What messages do you have for my Leo? Okay. All right. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, Mercury for the month of September. Leo. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Some of you all also. This could also be a divine partnership here. Some of you all. Are given to yeah, some of y'all is dealing with two people in Aquarius and possibly an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, I feel like some of y'all are needing to speak up about someone not carrying their weight financially. To, um, to I feel like this has, this has to do with someone either you feel like you're carrying the relationship financially or another person feels like this, but someone wants things to be fair. I feel like they're afraid of losing the relationship, so this is why they're not speaking up. Okay. Some of you guys also could be manifesting for a water sign to leave you the fuck alone, okay? Um, I'm also seeing here, some of y'all, there's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could be threatening you or giving you some type of ultimatum to choose them or possibly an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like some of you all are afraid of leaving the situation with knowing how things will move forward, especially if you have, a children, have children with someone here. Some of you guys could also be choosing to leave some type of job. For some of you all, this is voluntarily, but for some of you all, this is involuntarily. I do feel anything having to do with governmental institutions, unemployment, child support. I feel like there's positive news about some type of extra income coming into the home. For some of you all, this could also be someone doubting you when it comes to what it is that you want to grow, what it is that you want to invest in next. This feels like this could also be a parent. Okay? Some of y'all have somebody very insecure. I'm also picking up on the energy of somebody telling you, like, don't wear that. You can't wear that. Or some of y'all dealing with someone who's extremely insecure. This person doesn't pack evenly in the relationship. And they manipulate you in the relationship. This person knows that they cannot offer you what it is that you deserve. But they're hoping that your ass stay blind enough not for you not to be able to see it. Because they know that you wouldn't even think twice about hitting the deck on their ass. Okay? Some of you all, there's a water sign that is coming towards you. Um... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for others of you, this could also be a Capricorn towards Virgo. This person wants to work it out. Someone doesn't want to break up here. They want to work things out, okay? Someone wants to come and express their love. I feel like someone could have been juggling you. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Um, I feel like some of y'all is dealing with a Capricorn. This person loves you, but this person has a ins this person is insecure of a partner that can take care of themselves this person needs to be needed so they find themselves standing in karmic situations and I feel like you're questioning or evaluating your self-worth with dealing with this individual because even though there's a lot of love I feel like someone has been allowing somebody to juggle them due to the history that they have but I feel like you pulling the plug on that shit Leo okay for others of you this could definitely be someone who you have some type of family connection with or their family knows you you know their family okay there could also be someone coming in to disturb some type of family dynamic here. I feel like someone could have lied about the paternity of a child. Someone could have also, somebody could have also stolen some money here or someone feels as if they were done wrong regarding some type of payout. 
I'm also picking up on the energy of someone community. Someone is being a fucking home wrecker in the month of uh, September. Someone sees you in a relationship with someone who didn't tell them that they were in a relationship with you. And someone's coming to ring the damn alarm. But it's someone's karma here, Leo. They're saying allow it to happen, okay? Because I feel like this is thrusting you forward to fulfillment. This is thrusting you forward to abundance. Some of you guys, I do see a reconnection with a fire sign, Sagittarius in the building, who you could have possibly been pregnant by or have a child with. I feel like someone could be birthing a child during this time. Maybe you weren't talking to the father during your pregnancy. But I feel like this person wants to come forth and actually have, they want to do this motherfucking thing. Okay? They want to do this damn thing, Leo. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. This person could be one that could be talking to you about starting some type of business, okay, or some type of business loan. I do see for those of you who are waiting on some type of business loan to clear, um, I do feel the second week, I'm sorry, the end of the second, the, pretty much the end of this week going into the third week of September, I do feel that there could be some type of payout of a business loan or a payout of some, this feels like unexpected money here, Leo, okay. So let me give you guys some advice. Spirit is saying take the new. Some of you all are being called to really, really, really weigh up your damn options and reconsider what it is that you've been pouring your damn energy into and how it's been pouring back into you. What have you gained? Okay? So let's get it. Some of y'all standing up for y'all damn selves against some type of bullies. I feel like this is like a sense of gang stalking or this could even be a sense of like harassment. Some of y'all could also be following some type of restraining order on somebody because I do feel a disruptive water energy that wants to come in and fuck shit up and possibly an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. What's the advice for my Leos? First and foremost, move forward. Some of you all are moving and not telling anybody where the hell you stay. You could be choosing to do this in the month of September. Whoa. Yep. Isolation. Isolation, isolating yourself, letting go, choosing to remove yourself from a situation. I ain't going to be no damn third party, bitch. How about y'all can play by your damn self, okay? I'm also feeling some type of co-parenting dynamic going very smoothly. Don't, no need to worry about the worst is what I'm hearing. I do feel some type of co-parenting dynamic with someone or reconciliation with someone who they, have a, who they have a child with or two people who have a child is going to go very smooth. It looks very positive, Leo, so stop worrying about that, okay? So this is what I have for you all. For the month of September, I pray that it resonates. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. And I love you long time. Bye, lines. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, what's up, Sag? What's up, Saggy baby? Did you miss me? Hmm? Hmm? Y'all like how I'm fucking... Uh, Get my 90s on in this chair. You understand? The remix, honey. The rolling edition. How about that? Thank you, you guys. You guys, Sag, for your love. You guys have checked in on me so much. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all know y'all my babies, honey, okay? Fire signs as a whole, they my babies. But Sag, y'all know. <laughs> Watch y'all, y'all, y'all. I'll be having to get my belt, too. I'll be having to make sure we here. So I ain't got to get my belt. All right, Sag, y'all got to get my belt? It's been a long time coming. I got a remix belt. Got something special in tune for y'all asses. Okay? Alright? So let's get it. Sag, I got some interesting channels for y'all. The song that I picked up on was Rich Homie Quan, I believe. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. You ain't that you say you is. Baby, I know, I know, I know. Sag, some of y'all know that somebody's full of shit. I feel like you're in this space of deciding if you want to play the game or not, okay? Some of you guys are unintentionally playing the game, and some of y'all is a part of somebody else's game, okay? Someone could also be, um, Sag, some of you guys are moving, or there's a fear around having to move and not having anywhere to go. For some of you all, I did pick up on a fear of stability, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on this energy and I feel like this has to do with thrusting you forward to make your ass get off the damn fence about making a decision towards moving towards your life purpose, okay? For some of you all, you are spiritual teachers, Sag. You are philosophers. Some of you all are in this space of studying some type of mastery of alchemy, okay? Some of you guys, this could also have to do with some type of um, philosophical teachings around the ancients, okay? Some of you all, this is also teaching... Um, different astrological or different pagan pagan symbols some of you all also want to explain the difference to the collective or start some type of vlog or series when it comes to teaching people the difference between paganism uh, when it comes to um, magic pagan 
Wicca, okay, Voodoo, Hoodoo, all right, I definitely feel a lot of energy around um, occultists, okay, also practitioners. Some of you all, there could be someone who's attacking you. Some of you all feel attacked or um, psychologically or emotionally attacked when it comes to some type of family member that's projecting their beliefs onto you. I feel like someone could have converted when it comes to their belief system or being the space of conversion due to a massive awakening that they're going through. I do feel the energy of DNA activation. So Sagittarius, for some of you all, you woke up and all of a sudden when you woke up, you could actually have, you have a telepathic connection to people, okay? You're learning how to ground that. Some of y'all are needing to get out in nature more so often. There's a lot of downloads coming in nature for y'all, especially uh, connecting with the element of water, okay? Um, a lot of air energy, air energy, this could have to do with like communications or well-needed communications. I did pick up on the energy of unfinished business. I also picked up on the energy of someone who is a father. Somebody is an iPhone dad, okay? Uh, what I mean by iPhone dad, someone is taking pictures from their either their child's mother's page. This could be a Sagittarius man or woman, but I feel like someone, whoever the custodial parent is, someone is, like, the other parent is stalking you. Somebody's literally watching their kid grow up from the motherfucking side and the edges of the fucking bushes, okay? Um... Someone is a stalker, not a talker. Someone feels, either you and another person feels as if the other person, like, someone feels as if they need to win. They want to win at all costs, but they don't, they're, they're, they're coming to the realization of how much they've truly lost in the midst of their fucking stubborn, manipulative bullshit, okay? Um, I also picked up on the interview, but with this, what I'm picking up on with the iPhone dad, some of you guys could be dealing with someone... Someone you guys could be dealing with someone um, who is taking pictures of your children and like showing it around as if they've been active. Someone's been lying to their parents about uh, their activeness or being active in their child's life. I feel like somebody was out here chasing money, holes, cars, and clothes and they ain't got none of it. Okay? No money, no holes, no cars, no clothes, and the holes that they got is dusty as fuck and they just need a place to stay. Okay? Yes, I said it. Alright? For some of you all, this could also be... Um, some of y'all needing to forgive a father figure. There's some type of cycle or some type of second second time coming or a second a second chance or an opportunity to have a conversation around the forgiving of a father, okay? Some of you guys could be being triggered with some type of abandonment issues when it comes to the ending of a relationship. Some of you guys could have recently ghost somebody or you got ghosted, but I feel like someone is a catalyst to another person's awakening, okay? Um, but there's some type of trauma that needs to be healed around abandonment as well as rejection, okay? I also picked up on Sag. Some of you all have exes that are very intimidated by your growth. These people want to come back into your realm, but I feel like they don't. They're not coming back with anything sufficient enough to offer you. You guys are needing to be very, care, be very careful and very discerning, and really use your intuition around uh, reconciliations during this time, especially when it comes to dealing with a water or an earth energy. Someone is not the cleanest. You, somebody been sucking on some wet ass pistachio, wet ass popcorn. Wet ass peanut butter, okay? But either way, it's not attractive, okay? It's not some shit that we want to do, all right? I can't tell you what the fuck to do. If you want that wet ass pistachio, you go right the fuck ahead and go wet your nuts up, okay? But I, I told you so. <laughs> did, did Don't say Mocha didn't tell you, because I did, all right? So let's get it. Sag, I also pick up on the energy of some of you guys could... Some of you all could be having to move from uh, a situation with like living with family and friends. Some of y'all, you got people that is terrified of you, feeling like you're doing some type of spell work because you're lighting candles, honey, okay? Um, even though you actually have the desire to want to get into some type of a cultism, okay? Some of you guys could be tarot readers. I'm also picking up on the energy of stolen content. Someone could have stole your idea or stole your content. Spirit is saying, remix that shit. Like, remix it. Because it's authentically you and yours. Another person can't do it like you. So don't give up on your ideas because someone stole the I, I feel like someone stole your ideas, but they didn't steal your juice. Okay? The sauce don't taste the same. Right, let's get to it. <clears throat> what messages do you have? Souls. Lessons turning from my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, and Mercury for the month of September. My Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What messages do you have for Sag? Okay, y'all being stubborn. Sag, for some of you all, there, there's a lot of past, like some of you guys are dealing with the situation where you and this, you and another person really love each other. I feel like the other, one of you guys don't want to seem weaker than the other one. Like someone doesn't want to feel as if they gave up their power to another person. Or this could also have to do with 
some of you all are dealing with someone or something that is very triggering for you but I feel like you're going to persevere okay um, you guys got balance I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment okay for some of you all you need to be I feel like I need to confirm for you someone needs to remind their damn landlord I'm hearing um, also within the channel someone needs to remind their landlord of the damn CDC rules because some y'all have a landlord that is extremely greedy but they have not been moving um, or abiding by um, some type of like laws when it comes to how they're uh, handling some type of eviction process. Sag, some of y'all need to open your damn mouth. Stop being so damn prideful because I do feel that help is around you but some of you all are too prideful. You don't want to ask for help because you don't want anyone holding that over your damn head but I do feel that help is available and I feel like for some of you all it's literally going to fall in your damn lap when you choose to get outside of yourself and get out of your own damn way. Whether it's an idea towards investment, whether it has to do with your stability, whether it has to do with a project that you want to grow ask for help receptivity Sag okay but balance I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment for some of you all again this could have to do with some type of converting of your spiritual beliefs like you you being able to fill a void within you also this has to do with a lot of shadow work like acknowledging your shadows acknowledging the darker aspects of you and not allowing other people to project their bullshit onto you because I do feel that some of you all are dealing with someone who points the finger and feels as if you the bad guy make you feel as if you the bad guy all the time but this person doesn't want to take accountability for their shit and because you're a whistleblower and you call them on their shit you the problem okay it's you you the problem Sag fuck them is what I say but you know you can't tell mama Barbara fuck her so you know this you know you, listen I ain't gotta explain to y'all y'all know what the hell I'm talking about Next card at the bottom of the deck you guys got was abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality. Your gift of manifestation for the month of September, Sag, is extremely strong. I feel like some of you all could be doing some type of like healing work, Reiki work, something having to do with energy healing. Some of you guys could be wanting to practice energy healing. Some of you guys could be making people aware when it comes to different type of herbs that they can use to heal themselves. Others of you could also be wanting to start some type of, I'm hearing podcasts. Some of you guys could be starting some type of podcast others of you could also be in there's a need for you to connect with yourself but also exert that energy into the world from its uh, with its most from its most authentic form or with this most in its in its most authentic form so as some of you are there's someone in your energy or maybe you feeling choked up or feeling as if you're restricted to speak up for yourself due to your circumstance okay but spirit is saying be be afraid for what scared for what Sag? what the fuck is you scared for all right Show me what message do you have for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, North Node, and Mercury for the month of September? What message do you have for Sagittarius? Okay, yeah, some of you all are in your damn bag and in your damn head and overthinking the situation due to um, then some of y'all you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you all are terrified of making some type of wrong decision when it comes to love okay some of you guys someone is in a damn bag about how to make some type of love offer towards you someone doesn't really even know how to handle you or really sit comfortable in your energy whoever this is there could have been a lack thereof of accountability in the past and i feel like for some of you all said you like nah i'm good on that that was stressful as fuck i ain't got time i'm peaceful these days okay for some of you all some of you all, there's a need for you not yet. Some of you all are, um, are looking at your options when it comes to how you want to invest your time and energy moving forward. I feel like for some of you all, there could be a Scorpio individual that could be offering you a chance at love. But I feel like this person is not really... It's like this person wants to be there, but they're not emotionally or mentally or spiritually present and on your level spirit is saying really reconsider. Don't do it. Reconsider. Read some leather, Sag. Okay? Sure, listen, I definitely feel like some of y'all, this could also have to do with some type of family interference, okay? The family, some of y'all could be, this could be some of y'all could like someone and want to move forward with someone or want to give somebody a chance, but you got a hating ass bitch in the background telling you, oh, this person is this, 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 this person is this, 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 but meanwhile, if some receipts get exposed, this individual have been chatting with your person that you of interest in the damn inbox, somebody ain't want they ass, so they trying to deter them away from you, okay? Um, I also feel 
some of you guys could be indecisive when it comes to it's like you have a lot of things that you want to do but you don't know where to begin okay i do feel that for some of y'all you're needing to really jot out or like really strategize and journal your next moves forward some of the things that you love to do like wait a moment wait them on a scale if you have to use a journal or some type of creative outlet to get your to connect when it comes to your I mean I'm hearing some of you guys connecting with the creative outlet when it comes to connecting with your gifts so some of you guys this could also have to do with you guys using uh, some type of music some type of frequency with music I am picking up on a lot of poetic energy you could be poets you could be writers for some of you all this could also be script writing as well is what I'm picking up on others of you that whatever that whatever it is that you could have invested in in the month of june if this is a relationship a person i do feel that it's going to be moving forward and for some of you all again there's a need for you to control to compromise not control okay some of you guys could be moving and spirit wants you to know that a lot of doors is getting ready to open up for you uh for you taking that leap of faith and taking that chance your faith is being tested here sagittarius okay there's a need for you all not to worry when it comes to financial matters. I do feel help is on the way, okay? Some of you all, you could have extreme luck when it comes to taking a chance or taking some type of gamble. If you guys are gambling or going on some type of gambling trip, bitch, do your thing, okay? Just listen. Just send me a high little $20 for some Starbucks. I don't ask for much, but since it's the time of receiving and harvesting or whatever, you know, I believe in closed mouths don't get fed. And I like Starbucks. I do. I really do, okay? Some of you all could um some of y'all is in, some of you all are afraid to make the wrong decision around some type of job or some type of career move, okay? Some of you guys there could be a lot of return. So I do feel some of y'all could also be receiving something in the mail, like something could have gone to an old address. I feel like it's coming right on time when you need it, all right? Be very careful and take your time when it comes to shopping for new things, new material things like a home or a car, because I feel like there is some type of I feel like read the paperwork, Sag. Somebody's really playing games with the paperwork, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys are being stalked by an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Sun, Moon, or Rising, or you're doing this to an air sign. I feel like someone's trying to avoid an argument, or someone someone doesn't really know if they return to you or you return to another person, how it's going to play out. Someone's expecting the worst here, okay? But I feel like here, everything is going to be fine. This could have to do with internal conflict around having a particular conversation or reconciling with a particular person. This looks like the ending of some type of karmic cycle here, okay? Some of you all also, there is a Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but strong emphasis on Taurus. This person wants commitment. Some of you all also, there's a need for you not to meet somebody and just make them feel as if they under persecution, Sagittarius. Like, don't be telling them, listen, if you're going to be my boo, we got to get married in two weeks and we got to move in and with the kids and I'm going to meet your mama in a month. Listen, slow down, okay? Girl, let them love you. Okay, slow down, Sagittarius. Some of you all are moving way too fast with a particular in uh, individual or there's a want to, but it's making you seem as if you're very bossy or controlling to this person. And it's making this person have cold feet, even though they really adore you, Sagittarius. Okay, so slow down. Some of you all really uh, change. Some of y'all have a Virgo that is hacking your accounts or trying to hack your accounts. Someone is hell bent on finding out some information regarding another individual's past okay some of y'all this could also be someone running some doing some type of background check on you like somebody's trying to find dirt on your hands Sagittarius okay this could be someone who you work with all right I'm also picking up on the energy some of you all who are dealing with a fire sign every still Sagittarius someone is do, someone's watching someone to see if they're single someone's afraid of coming towards someone it's like they feel that they're in a relationship but they're not 100% sure so this person's gonna shoot they shot all right I also feel like for some of you all who are, are using any type of mirror magic water magic fire magic some of you guys could also be teaching or researching um, on how to use a divination around the elements all right I'm also feeling here, yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's afraid to tell you that the reason why they're avoiding their child's father or mother is because there's still some subconscious, there's still some feelings that lies below within the subconscious, okay? Someone was waiting for a long time to say something or have some type of closure or shit on somebody. And I feel like now that they've made the, now that they're making the move to do it, they kind of feeling like... They feeling like a fool because whoever this is, this individual could already be in a union. This person could be married, okay? 
I also feel like for some of you all, things could be moving forward with an Aquarius, especially if there was some type of third party situation involved, okay? Some of you guys could be ending some type of karmic cycle when it comes to dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, another Sagittarius, a Scorpio, okay? Or again, an Aquarius. I feel like some of you guys could also, someone here is recognizing that someone is their twin flame. Someone thought a karmic partner was a twin flame, but all hell broke loose. I feel like for some of you all, yeah, some of y'all are moving forward. Within letting go of things, there's blessings here. And Spirit is just saying, allow things to flow and stop stressing your damn self about the things that you cannot change, okay? Harvest season, baby. It's harvest season. Fulfillment is here, okay? Some of you guys, a reconciliation possibly with a child's mother, a father, especially if this person is a fire sign or an earth sign, looks to go positive, okay? I'm also seeing someone either... Uh, so be careful with any type of like pyramid schemes. I feel like things having to do with schemes, scams, anything having to do with paperwork. I feel like there could be someone actually going to jail during this time. Spirit, give me some advice when it comes to Sagittarius. I'm going to be fresh as hell. Lift the feds watching somebody. Someone could be trying to build an indictment case. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who's a trap star. Tell them to watch their damn back because somebody else is. Okay. Whoa, Sagittarius. That's too many. Okay, you guys got aloneness. Some of you all are afraid of being by your damn self. And Spirit is saying you're really needing to invest in yourself. You needed to be able to see clearly, hear clearly. I do feel that you guys are being, again, inherited with different spiritual gifts. Some of you all are mediums, okay? Some of you all are having to start over. And you feel as if someone could have actually, like, betrayed you in some sort of way. But Spirit is saying this is a blessing in disguise. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you to restore harmony into your life, okay? Baby, peace is expensive and so is your damn time. You can't get that shit back and you can't buy it from nowhere. So watch how you invest it, period, okay? So you guys, I love you long time, Sagittarius. I pray that this reading resonates with you all. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. But I will see you guys here for me in September Generals. Love y'all. Bye, boo.